I have created the Game of Life simulation twice, once using C++ and Raylib, and another time using Python and Pygame. This simulation is a great way to see which setup is faster, because it gets really hard for computers to handle when we use a large grid with thousands of cells. So we are going to compare them to find out which one can run the simulation faster. This isn't just for computer wizards. Anyone curious about how games work will find this interesting. Let's get started and see which one wins. The Game of Life is a cellular automaton devised by the British mathematician John Conway. It has a grid of cells that evolve at each step according to a set of rules based on the states of neighboring cells. Implementing this simulation efficiently requires careful consideration of how to handle these computations and manage the graphical display of the cell's states. As you can see, both versions of the simulation run smoothly at 15 frames per second. If I remove the frame per second limit, which version of the simulation will run faster and by how much? Let's find out. First of all, let's think about it for a second. Python is an interpreted language, which means that the code needs to be interpreted by the computer line by line every time the code is run. On the other hand, C++ is a compiled language, which means that the code is compiled into a set of instructions that the computer can understand once when we create the executable file. As a result, the C++ version of the game will run faster because the instructions are already compiled and ready to run. So what is the speed difference between Python and C++? Depending on the complexity of calculations, C++ is anywhere from 10 to 100 times faster than Python. Python programs also tend to use more RAM than applications built with C++. So let's see if that's the case in this Game of Life simulation I developed. The algorithm for both the Python and the C++ projects is exactly the same. Also, the grid is exactly the same in both simulations. It contains 15,000 cells. Let's first run the Python version of the game. I am using Python 3.12 and Pygame CE version 2.41 and I am only drawing primitive shapes on the screen. As you can see, the simulation runs at about 35 frames per second if we remove the FPS limit on my computer while at the same time I am recording the screen at 2K resolution. Now let's run the same simulation developed in C++. I am using Raylib 5 as the graphics library which is written in C. As you can see, the simulation now runs at about 330 frames per second. From this result, we can see that the same game written in C++ and Raylib is 9.5 times faster in execution than the same game written in Python and Pygame. The speed difference in this case is huge. Pygame in reality is just a Python wrapper for the SDL graphics library, which is written in C. So the core graphics functions are implemented in C. So even though the graphics function of the Python version of the simulation are also written in C, the speed difference is very big. So if you are considering building a game and speed is an issue, C++ is the way to go. And don't think that C++ is so much harder than Python. I have prepared detailed tutorials on how to build this game of life simulation in both Python and in C++ in two separate videos. You can watch them by clicking here and see for yourself if C++ is that hard. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.